Let's begin with number 5, Ravage back in the 1980s, the world wanted its animals to do more. The Beastmaster was released theatrically in 1982, while Manimal debuted on NBC in 1983. They didn't get it right, though, until Ravage. He could siphon off some of Soundwave's Savoir Fair in cassette mode, then transform into a Jaguar to build on the sleek, silent, and all-black gimmick that made Snake Eyes a superstar over on G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Synergy Whoops, wrong 1980s cartoon. Number 4, Optimus Prime The creation of new coke and killing off Optimus Prime. These are your bookends of bad 1980s ideas, everyone. The Transformers like most cartoons of the era were dismissed as 30-minute toy commercials. But, the adults didn't get it. Some of these shows echoed with their audiences long after the good guys saved the day. And, Optimus Prime was the good guy. Not every hero has to be real. But, sometimes fiction is the epitome of authenticity. Number 3, Devastator No Exaggeration Everyone remembers where they were when Devastator debuted. Six Constructicons presumably unionized day labor Decepticons merged into one towering entity. Devastator was defeated often with surprising ease in every episode, but this was the character that gave at least some credence to the series' cynical urgentizing mission statement. No character was as influential as Devastator. More than a half dozen gargantuan Autobot and Decepticon jigsaws were added to the roster in subsequent episodes. But, they're only one original. Number 2, Starscream the conniving underling is an oft-explored character in the arts, and Starscream belongs with the greats, such as William Shakespeare take on Marcus Junius Brutus. Starscream served with distinction as the Decepticon Air Commander. After repeated mission failures by his boss Megatron, Starscream rightfully believed that he was better suited to be a leader. His honest ambition and can-do attitude were never rightfully rewarded. Starscream was eventually assassinated by Galvatron and the Decepticons have still never won. Number 1, Jazz Scat and Crowther's voice overwork was the indelible element of every character he brought to life. But, Jazz was the most perfect fit for the vibe of his voice. With apologies to Hong Kong Fui. Laid back, but brash. Cocky, but cool. Jazz could have been just the obligatory urban attraction but instead he somehow captured the flashy pop culture zeitgeist of the 1980s. The tech specs on the back of Jazz's toy box attribute this quote to him, do it with style or don't bother doing it. Preach, Jazz. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any video.